Our top story tonight, new information in the capital murder case of a Leon Valley couple expecting their first child. Today, family gathered to remember the life of Savannah Soto and the son she planned on naming Fabian. We'll take you to the emotional vigil in just a moment. But as the vigil was getting started, police provided an update on their investigation. Tonight, new video shows an unknown man behind the wheel of the couple's car. Ken's Five reporter Zach Briggs has a closer look at the video and what it could mean to the investigation. Detectives right now are combing through days of surveillance video from several different locations. One of those locations near the crime scene where a pregnant Savannah Soto and her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra, were found shot to death at a medical center apartment complex. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus says this footage was captured just a few days before their bodies were discovered on Tuesday. Based on the family's account, Soto and Guerra were last seen at their Leon Valley apartment on Friday, December 22nd. The two didn't show up to the hospital on Saturday when Soto was scheduled to give birth. Here is a slowed down image of the first person of interest getting out of the Chevy Silverado. The surveillance video shows a pickup driver approaching the silver Kia Optima, which McManus says is the same car Soto and Guerra were found in. The second person of interest then pops out of the Kia, followed by the pickup driver returning to his vehicle with something in hand. What we believe right now, it was something to wipe the side of the car down with. Uh, you know, we can't be 100% certain of that. McManus emphasized this remains an ongoing capital murder investigation. The medical examiner confirmed Soto and Guerra were both shot in the head. Their deaths have been ruled homicides. The chief noted detectives are continuing to dig through social media and cell phone records for any leads into who may have killed this young couple. And now the police need your help identifying the two people seen in that surveillance video. You can remain anonymous to report a tip. You're advised to call 210-207-7635. I'm Zach Briggs, Kent's 5. Thank you, Zach. Our team coverage continues tonight. Savannah Soto's family is asking the community to help them get answers. Hundreds gathered at a vigil tonight, honoring the mother-to-be and her unborn baby. As loved ones pray for justice, Ken's 5 reporter Hannah Tita explains how healing has taken root at a Northside Park. Symbols of peace. Take flight over Kenwood Park. As the doves circle the sky, below, Two trees are starting to grow. This tree behind me represents Ethan because he always liked being here at the park. First, Rachel Soto lost her grandson, Ethan Soto. The 15-year-old was murdered last year. Now, she's also mourning the death of her granddaughter, Savannah Soto. The 18-year-old expecting mother was found dead in a car the day after Christmas alongside her boyfriend. Both were shot to death. And we won't see her anymore. Only in pictures. It will never be the same. It will never be the same again. Many came together to grieve the life cut short and the one that hadn't even started. Savannah was set to give birth last weekend to a boy named Fabian. It's not right, you know. She should be here with us. We shouldn't be having a vision. We should be having a celebration of her and her baby. As loved ones released balloons, they also lifted prayers. We just gotta keep her in our hearts. I remember the way she was, not to, rem not to remember her the way she left. Next is just fighting back tears, laying the princess to rest. The Sotos now wait for justice. Whoever it was was a coward. They didn't have no heart, but I have mercy on their soul. And what this family so desperately wants is to find out what happened and why. If you know anything about those people in that surveillance video we showed you, please call police. In the meantime, a GoFundMe page has been set up to help with funeral expenses. That's on our website, kens5.com. Reporting live tonight, Hannah Tita, Kens 5. Thank you, Hannah. And you can follow this murder case from the very beginning on Kens5.com and the Kens5 app. There you'll find all our stories, including interviews with family and police. We'll also bring you the latest developments both on air and online.